Hi, welcome. So this is a three-part video that's going to talk about the three big lies that intelligent women are uh, being told that are keeping them stuck in this constant behaviour pattern of start a weight loss programme, stop and repeat, start, stop, repeat, start the weight loss programme, stop it and repeat again. And every time you repeat, you seem to be heavier and heavier. So I'm going to share with you the three things uh, that have been told uh, and how we can debunk them. And I'm going to debunk them for you in this uh, video series. Now I'm going to shoot this in three parts. This is going to be part one and there'll be part two and part three to follow on. So you can listen to them uh, in little bite-sized chunks. Now there's something else that's important to understand before I share with you uh, what those three big lies are. Uh, and that is kind of like the backdrop to this and why it is that intelligent women are allowing these three lies to be perpetuated you know down the ages you know I can think back way back to the um, 70s where I remember my mum trying to do things to lose weight and that's when I was a little boy um, so you know this stuff's been going on for a long time so what is the backdrop the backdrop is the reason why these three lines are perpetuated and have been and no doubt will continue to do so going forwards in time is because of a few reasons one people are just simply ignorant to what the truth is pure and simple just ignorant to it the second one is people choose to um, kind of ignore it turn a blind eye to it they kind of know it's not quite true but they choose to ignore it and the third one is just don't want to know about it I just do not want to know what the truth is and the reason for that is it protects uh, self-esteem it protects people's ego and probably the biggest one is if you know what the truth is and other people are succeeding, you know why they're succeeding, it makes you look like a failure and you can feel like you failed. And as adults, we don't like to deal with any of those three situations, ego being damaged, self-esteem being damaged, or that sense of failure. So just have that in the back of your mind because as I go through these three big lies I'm going to be demything or debunking, uh, understand that whilst I'm sharing it with you, you may still be a little bit caught up with uh, the things I've mentioned there. And by the way, if you do want to go into more detail on this stuff, I will be giving a talk um, shortly. There should be a link on this page to my next free weight loss escape plan talk. Anyway, without further ado, let me share with you what uh, the first big lie is. And the first big lie is around motivation. Now, you may have heard people say before in the past, you need to be really motivated to lose weight. You know, really, you know, wake up with a spring in your step, a twinkle in your eye, full of energy. Well, that simply is not the case. Uh, let me explain to you. I believe there are only two occasions where you need to be really highly motivated to lose weight. And let me explain what those are and why that's the case, in my opinion. Number one, it's when you pick up the phone to contact the organization, the individual, uh, the, the group, a slimming group maybe, it could be a gym, uh, somebody like me, uh, to say, look, I'm inquiring because I need some help with my weight. That's quite a big deal because at that moment in time, you're making yourself vulnerable. You know, you're holding your hand up and saying, I need help. And as adults, we don't always like to do that. We don't like to reach out. We feel as though it makes us weak, uh, vulnerable, uh, feel like we're failures. We should be able to do this thing ourselves. It's easy. Other people do it. Why can't I? So that requires a lot of motivation. The second reason when you need, or the second time that you need lots of motivation is when you actually turn up at the facility, you know, because now when you turn up at that gym, that slimming club, or a place like mine, you know, you're actually physically in that environment. You're now face to face. Uh, you, you, you're out there uh, to be seen. And again, that requires a lot of motivation. But here's the thing depending on who you're working with, or whoever you're working with, in my opinion, everything they teach you thereafter to help you achieve your goal of weight loss should only require a relatively low level of motivation. So if we say that motivation level one on a scale of one to 10 is low motivation, 10 is high motivation, in my opinion, you should only need to be operating at round about levels three, four, and five. Occasionally going a little bit higher, but generally, you need to be around about level three, four, and five. Now, why is that the case? Why don't you need to be super motivated all the time? Simple, really. Think about the last time you were really angry about something. How long could you sustain that level of anger for? Minutes, hours, maybe a day. Why couldn't you keep it up for weeks, months, and years? 
I'll tell you why, and you probably know the answer anyway. It's just too emotionally draining. You can't keep it up. Well, trying to maintain a really high level of motivation is just too emotionally draining. So understand, to lose weight, two occasions you need high motivation. When you pick the phone up, when you turn up for the session, thereafter everything should be operating at a relatively low level threes fours and fives everything that that organization slimming group gym or a coach gives you should only require you to be operating at a relatively low level because you're going to require motivation for other areas of your life not just weight loss and if you're giving it all up just to lose weight other things are going to suffer other things are going to start to fail and go wrong so hopefully that makes sense to you that's uh, line number one uh, this is part one of a three-part video series. I said in the uh, intro here, if you are interested at all in going a little bit deeper on these topics and really breaking that cycle of start, stop and repeat, uh, you may, there's a link on this page or beneath this video uh, that will link to a page that talks about a free talk I give called the Weight Loss Escape Plan. So that's video one, that's line number one. Uh, tune back in for part two where I share with you the second big lie that people are told. Bye for now.